The question is whether the creator is created without any purpose or with a purpose. It makes sense reasonably that there is a purpose in bringing this creation. If you say there isn't a purpose or a function or, 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 or a reason, you have to give the explanation. So when Prophet Muhammad وسلم, for example, he described a vehicle, a vehicle which transmitted him or transferred him from one place to another, I mean, you may be still laughing, but today with our technology, we understand how if you have the technology to travel with the speed of light and so on, which is very difficult to grasp yet, you can go so much beyond. But 500 years ago, 1000 years ago, that would have been something like absurd. But today, it's no longer an absurd thing. Time traveling is no longer into science fiction. It is something that even scientists are discussing. What are the problems of time traveling? What are the, the, the possibilities of time travel and so on? Even time traveling. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that humans can't imagine that, that didn't yeah. happen. That. But the reality is there's a lot of steps to get there, yeah. in like logical steps that humans have actually worked towards. But if someone like 2000 years ago has made this, made this great claim and there's no like lead up to it, it's, why would anyone, anyone believe that? But do you at least understand and appreciate that things in the past when these things happened, because we weren't not there, we cannot just simply judge them and value them with a value judgment saying, it never happened, it's just simply absurd. Because we don't know the mechanics that things were in place. For example, if, for example, someone just did this and the blind got healed, back then it would be considered to be magic, wouldn't it? Okay, but the difference is right, there was, there was nothing, that, there was nothing which says, okay, uh, Mohammed, I got some engineers and they built a, 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 a really complicated um, uh, machine that flew. It, it, it looks like a horse flew in heaven, very simple. It, it wasn't like, a horse, was it? What, do, horses have, creature, do horses have wings? A creature, whatever it was. Exactly. Okay. So, but, when, when you say a creature, look, if I, if I give you a, a spaceship now, if you look at like a distance, you can say, oh, this looks like a bird, this looks like a falcon, this looks like... You can, you can have all your conceptions about it, but at the end of the day, it's a vehicle. So the Prophet had a vehicle, a medium, that transported him. But the technology did not exist at the time to fly back then. Technology, so. technology. A Prophet who has been given this medium from God, you require human technology. That, that assumes you, that, that requires believing in God. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So why would why would someone in the, today's age even doubt in God, in the existence of God? So why doesn't God That's come absurd. Right now and, and give me a magical vehicle that doesn't exist yet, so I can make me happy. Then why can't I? Let's understand. understand let's understand something. I say it's absurd today. Yeah. for people to even have doubt in the existence of God. It's absurd. Okay. Do you have anything to say in response that it's not absurd? I would say the, the, the overwhelming evidence is probably, probably more evidence against God than, than that in both for God in the world. Right. What is God? That there's no evidence for... Depends on religion, but yeah. No, no, no. If you have a conception of God and say there are more evidence against God, you must already have a conception of God, what God is. What is God to you? That there is evidence against that. Maybe I agree with you. If you say, oh, the God that forgets, the God that eats, the God that sleeps, God that takes rest, the God doesn't need, you know, I would say, yeah, there's evidence against that God. I would agree with you. But what is the real concept of God that we are discussing when you're talking about theology? So I think there might be some kind of God, but I don't think the God that exists, if he does exist, is the, the kind who will intervene 2,000 years ago and give someone a magical vehicle to fly into the no, no, sky. Intervention is something different. First, the question is whether there is indeed a creator God of our cosmos. And what this creator does in terms of actions and interventions, it's a different thing. It's God's prerogative. If God wants to somehow lift you and, you know, like you, you, you're floating in space, you know, that's his prerogative. But does, it, does God exist? As we understand in theology what God is, the, the necessary being of our existence, the, the creator, the originator, the sustainer of this universe. Does, does that God exist? My answer is I don't know, I'll find out when I die. <laughs> you see, there's one thing called I don't know, and one thing is I know it doesn't exist, like there's more evidence against it. Do you remember yeah, what you just I said? He's more likely to not exist, but at the same time, he could exist. Okay. So let's do it in the negative. Why do you say God doesn't exist? What are those? Okay, let, me, let me rephrase myself. I think, I think, I think there's a good chance he exists, but only in a very limited form. Like he, maybe he created a universe, like he did a Big Bang maybe, and that was it, and nothing else after that. So you're saying there is a creator, but this creator is not concerned about this creation. So the deistic concept of God, in which created and left, and that's it. And the, 
to their own peril, to their own destruction, whatever. Why? What know. gives? No, if you're bringing something like this, it has to be reasonable. Any proposition that you have, it needs to have some kind of making sense to it. Why would you want to propose a creator who is totally not interested in the creation? Created this creation with all this magnificence, with all this intricacy, with all this complexity and harmony and this precision engineering, and then you're saying he doesn't care about anything about it. He just created a left of death. I mean, there's so would much that can be explained by science, and there's so much more to be learned. But, know but do, do, do you realize? Yeah, imagine, learn. imagine you make a phone okay. like this. It has so many functions. It records sound, images, right, writings. Yeah. It communicates from people at distance, yeah. and Someone who made it and just left it there, and that's it. No real function and purpose for it. You would say, why did you spend so much? I'm not saying time and energy and effort, but why did you even bother to make this phone and then just leave it there without being it used for a particular function or a purpose? Is that a good argument for why God might exist? No, no, no. I'm saying, why would we even think that the Creator is a deist God by creating all this, you know, superb creation, yeah. right? And then it's totally distant from it. Why? I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I don't have to have an We have question. to have a reason if you're going to propose to that. We don't have to just like, just like... Have have a reason for that could it not just be the fact that because there's many inventors that invent products, technology, that they invent it and then they leave it. No, they don't just invent it for leave it. No, no, they don't invent it for leave it. There's a reason for the invention, but there's no ah. follow-up on it. No, 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 so no, 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 They don't walk away from it because the inventors may be going to the next project and so on. They've invented it so that this can be used so, properly. For example, yeah. just to answer your question, would it not be a valid reason from what he was saying so that God created us and then he moved to his next project? Hmm? He moved to his next project. He left us. So, so if God created, okay, what was the purpose of our creation? Let's, let's start answering some of this question before you go into God's next project. So God created us. With a purpose or without a purpose? From our perspective, I would personally say there's always a purpose for creation. No, but, in but, but, but the thing is, then it comes to, yeah, how can we talk on God's perspective? Hmm? On what basis are we talking on God's perspective? No, no. When you propose a model in which there is a creator who created this universe and then, then we're, we're, left it, then you should ask, the creator with so much wisdom created this universe where knowledge is demonstrated Wisdom is demonstrated and created with in vain, with no purpose. Quran actually talks about this. Do you really think God created this universe in vain? So you, you think this, all of this intricate universe that we have from a wise creator with wisdom, possessor of knowledge, just created it in vain? Now that needs an explanation. Why would it be just like that? I, I think we need an explanation, but I don't think you need a religious text. To no, 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 no. The question is, whether the creator is created without any purpose or with a purpose. It makes sense reasonably that there is a purpose in bringing this creation. If you say there isn't a purpose or a function or, 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 or a reason, you have to give the explanation.